CAT grade control for hydraulic excavators provides the operator with an in-cab reference for distance to grade and controls to set depth and slopes for excavation. This video will demonstrate basic operation for using reference elevations. CAT grade control calculates cutting edge position based on the elevation of the undercarriage. You can benchmark the machine against a known reference point to locate the machine elevation. Begin with checking the bucket focus and change it if needed. Place the focused part of the cutting edge near the reference elevation. Setting the reference with the bucket level will eliminate most errors from teeth wear. The benchmark icon displays benched. If you are uncertain that it was recorded correctly, you can clear the benchmark by holding the display key or the right joystick button and left joystick trigger simultaneously. Position the machine accurately and bench again. To use an offset elevation, enter the difference between the reference elevation and the finish elevation using the display or the joystick trigger and thumb control. Dig down to grade and the system will alert you when target is reached through text, light bar, or audible alarm. For level grades, you can dig at any angle to the reference point. Pitch and roll of the undercarriage is compensated as the machine rotates and the target grade remains level. You can adjust the grade elevation at any time and it is measured from the current benchmark. When you move the machine undercarriage, the elevation of the machine will change. Rebench against another known elevation to adjust for the new undercarriage position. One method is to have a reference within reach for each new machine location. Another method is to transfer the reference point with the touch point feature. Touch any place within reach that can be reached again after the machine is moved. Use the touch point button or the left trigger and left button on the joystick. Move the machine to the new location and touch the same point again. Use the display or joystick combination to accept the new position. Any undercarriage elevation change is calculated and the reference elevation is automatically updated. There are small errors in this method as the points are not touched precisely every time. A combination of using reference points and touch points can be used. The need for spacing reference points depends on ground conditions. Sloping trenches can also be created. For sloping trenches, the reference must be placed on the center line of the trench. The indicated depth to grade is only accurate on that center line. This shows the results of pulling a slope 360 degrees off the center line of the original slope. The use of an optional heading sensor that allows digging off center is covered in another video. From the reference elevation, you will set the target depth, target slope, and slope direction. The slope is set with the display or the right thumb control. The slope direction is shown on the icon next to the amount of slope. The same uses of reference elevations and entering offsets apply. For a sloping trench, be careful to read the offset value for each grade stake as they may change value for each reference. To use the touch point feature for a sloping trench, use a point in the bottom of the trench near the undercarriage. The touch points must be on the center line of the slope. Move the machine and then touch the same place again. The target depth will change to reflect the height difference along the slope. Additional features and applications are covered in separate videos. For full instructions, please read the Operations and Maintenance Manual.